Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Good morning, or afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, November 26. It's the 27th week after Pentecost, the last week in the church year, and week 7 in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 124, 125, and 126, and Matthew chapter 19, verse 13 to 22. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. If it had not been God who was on our side when they rose against us, then they would have swallowed us up quickly. Alleluia. Psalms 124, 125, and 126. Alleluia! If it had not been God who was on our side, now let Israel say, if it had not been God who was on our side when they rose against us, then they would have swallowed us up quickly when their anger was kindled against us. And then the waters would have swept over us and the floods would have gone over us. Then the raging waters would have gone over us. Blessed are you, O God, who did not give us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. Our help is in the name of God Most High, who made heaven and earth. Alleluia, they that trust in you shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so you, our God, are round about your people, now and forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands for evil. Do good, O God, to those who, that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn to crooked ways, <clears throat> you shall take them away with the workers of evil but peace shall be upon Israel. Alleluia, when God Most High restored the fortunes of Zion, it was like we were a dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues were singing. And then the heathen said, God Most High has done great things for them. You have done great things for us, O God, and we rejoice. Restore our fortunes, O beloved God, like the streams of the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They that go out weeping, bearing precious seed, shall come home rejoicing, bringing in their sheaves. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, if it had not been God who was on our side when they rose against us, then they would have swallowed us up quickly. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 19, beginning at verse 13. Then little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay his hands on them and pray. And the disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them. But Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and went on his way. Then someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. And he said, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, 
You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. Also, love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said, I've kept all these. What do I still lack? And Jesus said, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And then come and follow me. And when the young man heard this word, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create a clean, create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most dear God, we rejoice in your blessings and praise your glory. You have done great things, and we thank you forever. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.